lend a brain. We may be tokens, but we're damn good looking ones. You think it would dishonor Dr. King's memory if I went to sit in the back of the bus? So we need to talk about how iconic Jody Landon is. Twenty years ago, Daria came to MTV. The show focused on the shade icon herself, Daria Morgendorfer, and her family and schoolmates at Lawndale High. This looks well balanced. Ew! Damn it, we've got four mouths to feed! Food costs money! I knew it. The show was really ahead of its time. It touched on feminism, social class, and thanks to one of the show's few characters of color, Jody, race as well. Homegirl literally ran Londo High School. Thank you, Jody Landon, valedictorian of the graduating class of Rondale High. I'm president of the French Club, vice president of student council, editor of yearbook, and I'm also on the tennis team. She had the black boyfriend, box braids popping, unapologetic attitude. She carried herself with so much class and dignity. Someday I'd like to own my own business, maybe a consulting firm geared toward minority startups. She truly was someone that I wanted to be best friends with, but she was also very vocal about what it means to be under this gaze of being the perfect minority and the token black girl. At home, I'm Jody. I can say or do whatever feels right. But at school, I'm the queen of the Negroes, the perfect African-American teen, the role model for all of the other African-American teens at Lawndale. Oops, where'd they go? To its credit, the show positioned Jody to be the biggest critic of the show's overwhelming whiteness. Isn't it great how they keep electing us homecoming king and queen every year? Yes. It's such a generous and enlightened gesture. It completely makes up for the town's utter lack of diversity, in my mind. And we're playing into it. Damn college applications. This is so humiliating. Jody was woke before woke even knew what woke was. Why play into this stupid charade any more than we have to? What happened? Oh, what the hell? We may be tokens, but we're damn good looking ones. Not only were Jody and her boyfriend, Mac McKenzie, some of the few characters of color, but they were also the only secondary characters to have a three-dimensional storyline, independent from the show's white lead. In the show's film-length finale, Is It College Yet?, Jody and her parents debate over which college Jody was going to go to. Would it be the elitist Ivy League school Crestmore or the historically black college Turner? I want to go to Turner, at least for a year or two. You want to go to college to relax? Relax socially. Stop being the black kid and just be a kid. I'm tired of being in the extreme minority and I don't want to go to a place where people might think I got in just because I'm African American. Now, in the end, Jody chooses to go to Turner with her parents' support. My parents said if I was so upset about Crestmore that I'd apply to Turner behind their backs, they had to respect my feelings. They told me I'd earn the right to be treated like an adult. As we look back on the 20 year anniversary of Daria, it's time that we give Jody Landon the respect and credit that she deserves. Her poise and dignity personify what it means to be black girl magic.